हेलो एवरीवन टू डेट साइंस एकेडमी वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिस्टम हैकिंग सो लेट्स लेट्स मूव फॉर द लेट्स सी व्हाट सिस्टम हैकिंग एक्चुअली इज ओके सो सिस्टम हैकिंग सिस्टम हैकिंग इन्वॉल्व गेनिंग अनऑथराइज एक्सेस टू कंप्यूटर सिस्टम्स टू स्टील डेटा एक्सप्लॉयट वलनेबिलिटीज और मेन्यूपलेट फंक्शनैलिटीज इट इंक्लूड्स टेक्निक्स लाइक पासवर्ड ट्रैकिंग प्रिवलेज एस्किलेशन स्पाईवेयर एंड की लॉगिंग ethical hackers use these methods to test security uh, defenses while malicious hacker exploit them for cyber attack emphasizing the need of strong cyber security measures so <clears throat> system hacking the basic uh, understanding of system hacking is to find some vulnerability that is present in that system and afterwards we can exploit it we can exploit it for testing purposes for ethical hacking and after that we can maybe you know try to mitigate it try to prevent that vulnerability okay so let's move further let's see uh, what vulnerability we will be uh, we will be trying to exploit today so we will be trying to exploit eternal blue uh, the code name is ms17010 so eternal blue is a windows exploit it was developed by nsa nsa is a national security agency uh, present in uh, us and this was this vulnerability was leaked by shadow brokers in 2017 it exploits a vulnerability in microsoft smb version 1 protocol so server uh, so service message box smb version 1 enabling remote code execution used in wannacry and not patia ransomware attacks it highlights the dangers of unpatched systems and the need for cyber security vigilance so eternal blue you know these uh, secret services like nsa cia fbi they all of these secret uh, agencies they have some type of exploits uh, with them that they can exploit and they can access any computer system in this world if it is connected to the internet so we will be trying to uh, you know uh, trying to exploit this vulnerability today now the tools which i will be using uh, will be uh, metasploit and nmap you can use nessus as well if you have the premium of nessus you have purchased the nessus services yeah you can use that as well but i will be using metasploit and nmap for this example okay. so let me uh, go to my kali machine and let me get this terminal a little big bigger so that you guys can see okay now uh, i have a vulnerable machine a uh, windows machine present here let me just check its ip address so i will be opening the command line and i will be typing ip config okay this is 1.13 okay 1.13 and map so hyphen b uh, port will be 445 uh, 445 port actually is used for uh it is used by smb you know for samba service message box so yes and i am using a script smb vulnerability finding script and you guys can also find these scripts these scripts are present in you know kali linux by default and these scripts are used with nmap So I think I am using this one MS seventeen zero one zero. Okay. And yeah. So what this script will do? This script will try to find the vulnerability related to. Uh, I think I think this is the vulnerability script. Wait, we need to you know use. Um, let me. Yes. This is the one. 
this is the script which we need to use yeah SME version script okay so this script will try to find out the vulnerability uh, which is actually present in that vulnerable windows machine and yeah immediately we got the result so yeah host script result uh, smb vuln okay this was the script which we ran and this is vulnerable machine is vulnerable remote code execution vulnerability is present because that uh, windows machine is using smb version 1 that's why remote code execution is possible and yeah okay now to hack this machine i will be using tool metasploit okay start this tool and let's let's read about these tools as well you know in one so yeah metasploit uh, is a tool it comes pre-installed in kali linux it is used for penetration testing uh, it is used by ethical hackers it has all the payloads exploits and aux some auxiliary scans as well and yeah we can use this tool Net nmap is a network mapper by using nmap you can identify the vulnerability present in any network it can be windows it can be linux okay. and yeah let's go back to our terminal let me clear this and yeah i can actually enumerate for this vulnerability using uh, metasploit itself i will be searching for auxiliary uh, scanner for I think MS seventeen uh, hyphen zero one zero. Okay. So yeah, you can use nmap to find the vulnerability uh, that is present in a system or not. You can use a uh, metasploit as well. Okay. Show options. Show options. I think I have to specify. Let me see our host. This is missing, and yeah, we need to specify this. Let me clear the screen. Set our host. Um, yeah, one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot thirteen. Okay, it has been set. I think. Now we can run this. Yeah, so it says host is likely vulnerable to MS seventeen zero one zero. Let me clear the screen. Let me uh, come back and let me search for MS seventeen hyphen zero one zero. Because so many exploits. But the one which we will be using will be Eternal Blue MS seventeen zero one zero. This will be the expert which we will be using. Okay. So use zero. Okay. Now now show options. I think yeah we need to specify the R host. Okay. We need to specify the R host. Let me clear the screen. Let me set our host. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot thirteen. Okay. And I think we need to specify some payload as well. Yes, we have this payload option that we can use. So we, I think, have to specify this payload as well. Okay. Now let us run this exploit and see if we are able to, uh, you know, hack into the system or not, Windows system or not. Okay, we have a metapreter shell. If I will type uh, ps, so I will receive all the processes that is running in that Windows system. 
and this is how you can hack into a system by finding uh, vulnerabilities most of the systems uh, uh, the outdated uh, systems they have some kind of vulnerabilities present in them <clears throat> so you guys can also find it and you know try to exploit it so uh, this was it uh, guys for today about system hacking how you can find the vulnerability using nmap using a uh, metasploit and after finding the vulnerability how you guys can uh, you know try to exploit that vulnerability so yes this is how it works so yeah. okay okay so if you uh, like this video you can give us a thumbs up if you have any doubts you can comment down your doubts you can share this video with with your friends and you can subscribe to our channel and guys thanks for watching until next time